Renault, uh, a fantastic return of Eugene uh, last week. Did you expect to jump quite as high as that? No, definitely I wasn't expecting to jump so high because um, when I came to Eugene I spent three weeks without a good training because I had injured myself um, to my shoulder um, months ago. So um, I was um, honestly expecting to take the win and uh, jumping around 580, maybe 590. Um, but the good thing is I make uh, a very good work with my physio uh, to get back to this uh, injury and try to be uh, close to 100% uh, LC. And uh, Eugene was such a good condition and uh, I was able to, to manage it uh, easily and um, you know, jumping 6 or 5 at the first uh, competition is uh, something crazy for me uh, but it means that uh, I did a really good work since uh, since the last uh, uh, the last couple of training and um, I'm stay on the same level that I uh, when I finish the indoor season uh, in, in March so everything is good and uh, now I just have to stay focused on what I do and uh, and try to improve myself every time which could be harder and harder because uh, stay at uh, six meter level it's uh, really hard but uh, that's a good goal and a good motivation for for the uh, for the season you mentioned the good weather in Eugene the weather's great here in Rome and it's got a good history of people jumping high across all the jumps the the meet record 31 years old Sergei Bubka 594 are you aiming to break that tomorrow night uh, yeah, that's uh, that's uh, one of the good uh, motivation for me uh, to be able to to write my name front of Bubka for the for the meeting record, and uh, also because uh, Thierry Vigneron jumped pretty well uh, here as well. So it means a lot for for us for Paul Rotisserie. Um So you know, I will do step by step, like taking uh, first taking the first um, the first place, uh, and then try to jump um, higher and higher um, so I hope that uh, the weather should be stay like that just we are expecting that like, uh, the wind will not be so strong and hopefully for the in the say in the in the good side so I think we just have to wait until 24 hours and uh, and we see what's going on in in that uh, big stadium you talk about getting the win first and foremost the win in Eugene already puts you joint top of the diamond race how important is that in the run-up to Beijing um, for me, it's um, really important, you know, because uh, Diamond Race is um, um, very, very strong, and um, I give a lot of importance for that because um, I love winning, of course, and uh, because I won the last uh, five Diamond Race, I don't want to give the opportunity to the one to get it in Povot. So uh, that uh, keep a good motivation for me uh, and stay focused to. First of all, take, take the lead, take the, the, the point, and after that you you will see the performance. But uh, the thing is, uh, because uh, the other one are jumping pretty well, uh, it pushed me to the high level, and I know that if I want to jump, to win, I'm not able to. Uh, I don't have to jump 570, but uh, at least 580, maybe 590. So that's still a very um, good performance, and uh, that's pretty good for. I mean, everyone. One final question about your brother. Do you give him some advice during the competitions? Do you talk to him? Yeah, of course, every time. Um, I mean, like I know him pretty well. I know what he needs to to do to to improve his uh, his, uh, his uh, jump and do something better. So I'm very happy that this year we are going to make like all the competition together. So we can we share the same coach. So we can share during the training, during the the, the, the competition as well. And uh, I hope that he's uh, able to, to, to be back to 580 this summer and, uh, and just preparing for on the road to Rio and, and before to Beijing to try to enjoy uh, together and, and make something very strong. So it's on a good way for, for all together and that's a really good thing. Good luck to both of you tomorrow. Thanks a lot.